as a paratrooper. So they, they they flew and they will be dropped on area uh, somewhere in Europe. So the dropping point for these paratroopers is on the top of the the cliff, uh, the top of the mountain where cliff uh, or, uh, on both sides. So it's a difficult jump, but uh, they need to because they, they need to penetrate the enemy uh, territory. So these special forces went and dropped all these men. And one man is a Christian. So when, when the airplane dropped them, they, they glide the, the, uh, the parachute toward the, the, the dropping point. And there is a light so that they can change the light where they are going. So what happened, the, the wind blew um, on different direction. So it's, uh, he, he has uh, difficulty to, to, to find the dropping point. But he tried to, to go around the dropping point, but he never took a thing. He never, uh, uh, he never been to that dropping point. And and he prayed to God. He said, God, help me to to be if not on the dropping point, near to the dropping point. So the wind blew again, and and guide this shoot the parachute towards the dropping point. And before the dropping point, uh, the parachute stopped. <clears throat> he was hanging on the, already on the tree. He was hanging on the tree. So he knows that he was short on the landing. And he knows that both sides are cliff. Then he prayed to God. Lord God, help me. Help me. Save me. Because Anytime the, the tree branch will be cut off, he will fall down, he knows that it is a cliff. So he prayed to God that God will help him. And God told him, cut the rope. God said, cut the rope. And he, he, and he is thinking, if I cut the rope, then I will go down. That's straight to heaven. <laughs> but again he prayed, no Lord, I don't want to die. I, I want to uh, I want to be saved. I want to uh, I want to to live. But again the Lord said, cut the rope. Cut the rope. And again he prayed. Lord, help me. Guide me. But still the Lord said. Until such time that the morning time he's still hanging on the tree, and the and the the enemy came because he was there on the tree. And when he saw, in early in the morning when he saw, he was only three feet away from the ground. <laughs> he was hanging on the tree, but only three feet from the ground. He sprayed the. Uh, He's praying to God that God will help him. And God tell him to cut the rope. But he's not willing to cut the rope. Most of the Christians are that. We pray to God, but we don't believe. God said uh, these things and we do the other thing. Right. Where is the faith? Where is our faith? That's why that's why God, God will try our faith. God will... Uh, will will make our faith stable so that when times get, get rough, when times of your life is in troublesome, you can stand with a stable faith. You know, even David was trying by God so that later on, later on the faith of David will be stable. Later on he can try the Psalms 23. How stable is the, the faith of David? 
when you write some sort of thing. But this time, he ran away. He was afraid. Uh, he was afraid. <coughs> how, how we will deal, how we will uh, have the stable faith. There are four things here. First, we need to realize in our life that we have uh, imminent troubles in life. We have the imminent troubles in life. Psalms 1 and 2 says, Lord, how are thy increase that trouble me? David said, many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him in God's cellar. You know, people will give us troubles. People will give us all these troubles. Uh, people around us, uh, we will expect that, that they will give us trouble. And during this time of trouble, this is, this is, uh, this is now the time that you can uh, exercise your faith and to stabilize your faith. Every time that you have a problem in life, every, every time you need to trust that. Amen. Amen. The same problem will come again to your life. Now, your faith is already stable. You know that I, I've been through this before. I've been through this before. Somebody uh, talk to me, uh, talk against me, but I don't mind them. I pray to God, and God give me peace in my heart. Amen. So again, if somebody talks to you uh, against against you again, your faith is already stable because because you know that God will still protect you and still will give you peace of mind. That is why we. Uh, in, in, uh, so in this world, we always, we always have trouble. Uh, around us will give us trouble. That's why when Jesus Christ, uh, Jesus Christ said that, take up the cross, uh, take up the cross, um, and follow me. Take up the cross and follow me. Said, well, first he said, deny yourself, take up the cross, and follow me. Jesus said, uh, Jesus then said, okay, just follow me. No, first you need to deny yourself. If you will not deny yourself, you will trust yourself. You will always trust yourself. That's why Jesus Christ deny yourself. He said, take up the cross. Jesus will not take take away the hardship in life. Jesus will not. Take away these problems in life. We need problems in life to be stable. Amen. 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 So when 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 trouble comes in your life, ask God for 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 power. Ask God for for answer, and ask God uh, for le for a lesson why these things happen. Because everything that happens in our life, when we are serving God, there will be a purpose. Amen. Amen. There is there is nothing uh, coincidence or things that just just came to you without a purpose. Amen. If we are serving God, you need you need to to be attentive to be attentive around you. I told the group in Alcor that. Uh, you know, I, I'm expecting uh, uh, that, that Satan will, will do something. So that, that's why last, last week most of them uh, don't want to go to the Bible study. And, and I told Brother King, I know that I'm expecting those things. But, but, uh, but I'm praying every day. But I'm praying every day. Uh, I've been through that. I've been through that. And I believe, with my faith, that, that, God, that God will uphold His works. Amen. God will, will, will give us faithfulness 
the new strikes. Uh, it is hard. It is hard, yes. But God will give us grace to overcome those things in our life. That is why troubles, uh, um, people will give us troubles. And people will rise up against us. Uh, people will rise us, rise up against us. In Matthew 5.11, Jesus said, Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manners of evil against you falsely for my sake. Falsely for my sake. People will, will, will do those things to test your faith. To test your faith. So every time, every time that problems comes, you need to you need to trust that. You need to you, you need to, uh, to to act as a Christian. Um, this always happens that um, if you are not careful, if you, if trouble comes, you you get angry. If somebody, uh, if somebody will tell you something wrong, you get angry, you will react. And after you react, what, whatever things that you have done, you cannot redo it again. You cannot erase those things. Right. If you have shout against you, it's already done. Your testimony already been uh, destroyed. So when you are mad, when things go wrong, we need to trust God. We need to pray. We need to think. Think twice uh, or a hundred times before we will react. Right. That's why pastor said you need to count one to ten. If you are very, very angry, you need to count one to one hundred. If you are very, very, very angry, you need to count one to one thousand <laughs> before you <laughs> you talk another way. So that's why people react when when they hear something they react. When they when they when they know something they will react. Even in the Facebook, they, they just they just type the words and let the whole world know. Thank you. What's your testimony? That those things you cannot you cannot regain again. When your testimony already been been lost, destroyed, it's it's very hard. It's very hard to to regain again the trust of people. Now uh, we we will continue on uh, here on verse uh, three. What did David do? <coughs> During this time, verse three, he said, "But thou, o Lord, art a shield for me, my glory and the lifter up of my head." I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and He heard me. Out of His holy hill, Sarah. Number two, the immediate response in life. There is an immediate response in life. Uh, Brother Joseph, uh, uh, bigla niya na lang ako inang eh. <laughs> Nangangano ka kasi. Bigla na lang ako pinagpapal. One conversation that we, that I have here, uh, he said that if somebody how about if somebody hit you? What will you do? <laughs> As a Christian. They <laughs> say, if not, if you are hit, what are you going to do? <laughs> yeah, you, you, you need to do what is right. Right. You know, do what is right. It is, uh, if, if you hit him again, it will, it will never solve the problem. Right. Right. You need to solve the problem. 
So uh, the the Bible uh, is teaching us to love our enemy. Amen. 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 It's hard, right? But we need to do. Amen. Amen. It's hard, but we need to do. Here, uh, uh, here in the Bible, uh, what did David do? He has the immediate response. He called, he called the name of the Lord. He said, "The <coughs> Lord art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter of my head." The Lord is the lifter of our head. In Matthew 11:28. He said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He said, Come unto me. Not that God will do to you, but you need to come to God. When you're, you're in trouble, he said, Come unto me. When you have problems, he said, Come unto me. We need to come unto God. David, come unto God. He said, O oh Lord, he reminded himself that, that the Lord is his shield, the glory and the lifter of his head. You know, when you are sad, your head is going down like this. Huh? When you are sad, your, your head is very heavy. Right. That's why David said, the lifter of my head. Mm. When you are happy, your, your head is up. <laughs> when you're sad, you're in this stuff. Right. Uh, you walk like this. <laughs> Just like you go straight and nobody, you can see nobody. But if you're happy, your your eyes is on the straight line. And your your mouth is smiling. That's why David said, the lifter of my head. You, you give me joy. You give me peace. You give me strength. That's why Jesus Christ said, Come unto me. All, he said, All, ye that labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. This is the word of the Lord Jesus Christ. No. The Lord, uh, also the Lord heard David. Also the Lord Hear David in for he said, I cried unto the Lord with my voice. He prayed unto the Lord. And what? He heard me out of his holy. You need to cry out to the Lord. What is the, the telephone number of God? Jeremiah. Jeremiah 33. Now, see, when in, in Matthew 11 28, he said, Come unto me. What is in Jeremiah? He said, Call unto me. He said, Come unto me. And he said, And Jeremiah, all unto me. <coughs> Two things you need to do. May not be. You see the heart? When you come to the Lord and you call unto the Lord. What happened if you call unto the Lord? He said, Call unto me and I will answer thee. Answer thee, answer thee tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe I will answer you. God Maybe. said, Come and call unto me and I will answer thee. And what? Show, Show thee, thee my great 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 my great great things. Things. Which thou knowest not. Know know Sometimes we, we think about the solution of our problem. But God says, no, I have a better solution. Amen. I will involve somebody. I will use somebody. I will, I will not. Sometimes God said, it's mine. I'll do it my way. So you just wait. You just wait. Amen. Before, before uh, I, I have a job on the park and uh, and, and the company that rents us all. So they, the company give us only 30 days. 30 days. So I, I find some, I applied so to, to the available uh, job in Qatar, and also other country. And it came, uh, it one.
nothing. No, no company called me. Second week pass, no, no company called me. Third week pass, still uh, there is no call. But deep in my heart, I believe that if God has a purpose for me here in Qatar, He will give me a job. So I'll just, I'll just wait. I just wait. Okay, Lord, it's your way. It's your way. There are so many recommendations, but it doesn't work. I just pray. Now, uh, 25, no, uh, 24, 25, 26, I have, <laughs> I have only four days. 26. Then, 27, 26, uh, 27, uh, the, my company now called me. And he said, come and we, uh, 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 you will be interviewed this afternoon. The interview was finished. And the next day he called me, when you can start? I told him, uh, as soon as possible. So he said, okay, you start on on February 1. That was January 27, interview, 28, the, the, the contract, 29, Friday, uh, 30, the, the we we have the final contract signing and one I have already a job. Amen. Amen. That, that's how that works. And he will not involve somebody. He said, "It's my way. It's my way." I was I was I was uh, doing something when somebody when my friend called me. He said. Uh, there is a opening in this project. Uh, please uh, give your your CV. And I said to myself, no, it's already late. <laughs> it's already 26. How can how, how can they hire me? We have only four days. And and the Holy Spirit that we go, you need to go. So in the morning I didn't go, but afternoon again it was reminded me to go. So I went, I went to the to the to the office and did my, my application, and the next day they called me. So it's it's the it, uh, if God works, uh, it is in a unique way. Okay. Right. So that so that the, those things that happen to you, it will remind you how great is our God. Amen. Amen. And the next time that will happen to you. You know that your faith works. Amen. Your faith works. You have a stable faith. So every time that that uh, your faith is tested, you need you need to trust God. After you trust God, He will show you things that uh, uh, that which thou knowest not. Great and mighty things thou knowest not. So, so you will marvel on the on, on the power of God. Number three. Number three. The impressive calmness in life. The impressive calmness in life. If we, if we, um, uh, in Psalms uh, chapter three verse five it said, "I laid me down." and sleep. I awake, for the Lord sustained me. Six, I will not be afraid of the thousands of people that have set themselves against me around about. This is from the word of David. You know, it is an impressive calmness in life if we trust God. The Lord, he said, sustained me. David said, the Lord sustained me. In verse 5, he said, I lay me down and sleep. I awake for the Lord sustained me. You know, the Lord sustained us daily if if we just trust Him. Amen. Amen. If we just trust Him. People, people uh, go and work on overtime to earn more money. But we are 
we we are uh, we we are told by God to serve Him. It's better to to go attend the Bible study and let God supply your needs. Amen. Just serve God and and uh, and see how it, how God will, will provide everything for you. It's all about faith. It's all about faith. That's why people will will need, uh, they need to work and work and work and never trust God. <coughs> but when when they need to realize that everything everything that uh, that that they that God has provided them and yet they forget that the strength wisdom the the power the talent that they have it's all come from God that's why we don't have any reason why not to serve God right God open our eyes every day we sleep and we awake right right and and uh, and David has a peace of mind because he trusts God. Amen. You cannot sleep uh, if if you have a problem and you haven't trusted God. You cannot you cannot uh, have a good rest if if that problem comes again to you and comes again to you. David said, "I lay me down and sleep." I wait for the Lord to sustain me. You know James 1.17, he said, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from what? Above. Above. And coming down from the Father of light, which home is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. And also the fear of nothing. The Lord sustained, and David said, have the fear of nothing. He said, I will not be afraid. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me from the Lord. They would say, I'm not afraid. I trust God. I trust God. You know, David realized these things when his, when his faith was shaken. When Absalom chased him, and he hid himself away from Absalom. Now David said, I am not afraid of 10,000 that surround me. Why? Because he has already a stable faith. He realized that, that, that God is with him. That God is on his side. That's why late, later, he wrote the Psalms 27. Psalms 27 1 says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? He never write these things if, if he never experienced uh, this in his life. If there is no if there is no shaking of his faith, he never stabilizes his faith in believing God. Not only we have imminent troubles in life, we have immediate response in life, we have impressive calmness in life, but we have the infinite love in life. With that infinite love in life. Here as he closed, he said, Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all my enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of ungodly. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people, Sila. You know, Lord is our Savior. Amen. The Lord is our Savior. He never stop saving us. First, He saved us from hell. He died on the cross. 
for our sins. He shed His blood to wash us from our sins. And after that, when you are in trouble, He is always our Savior. Yeah. Nobody will save us in times of troubles. But only God, the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why, that's why here, David says, Arise, O Lord, save me. Now, he realized all these things, why he is hiding against his son. And he said, why am I here? Lord, save me. Lord, save me. Do something about it. Do something. Oh my God, for thou hast smitten all my enemies upon the chief wall. Thou hast broken the teeth of my God. Salvation be no man to the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. Titus 3, 6. Titus 3, verse 6. He said, which is shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ, our Savior. It is only by Jesus Christ that we need to be saved. The same thing with our life. Our, our life is not, um, is not always on the top. Sometimes we, we are on the down, we have problems, we have troubles in life. But it, this is only the shaking of the feet. Just the shaking of the feet. How can you how can you how can you be successful in your faith promise when you are shaken on your faith promise? When you are shaken with your faith promise, sometimes you cannot give because of your financial problem. But instead of not giving, you give. Amen. Amen. This will stabilize your faith. This will stabilize your faith. When you feel not giving, you give. It is, it is your promise. It is your promise. It is promise to the Lord. And we need to, to sustain it. We need to continue it. And again and again, it will come. Mind you, there, there, there are so many things that surround us that will affect our faith. That will test our faith. Right. You you overcome those things again. It will come again. It will come. But the good thing, your faith is already stable. Learn about the, the past things. Remove all those bad things, and take all the good things. You learn from your mistake. Always learn from your mistake. Man. Don't don't say ah I I fail, so no need for me to to strive because I'm always a failure. You fail because you want to fail. It is about you. It's not about others. You you fail with with those things that God had had tried you because. <coughs> You, you, you purpose in your heart to fail. In every problem, there is always a solution. Amen. In every problem, there is a solution. But the only thing is we need faith from God to solve the problem. Some solution is from us. And that is your own way, not God's way. Some solution came from your friend. It's not God's way. It's your own way. It will not stabilize your faith. It will never stabilize your faith. How? Uh, is there anybody uh, pray for money in front of the money? <coughs> Lord, give me money, but the money is already there. Nobody praying for money, the, the money is already there. Nobody, only food. 
The police already there. <laughs> right. You pray for your needs. Your needs is already provided. There is no way. But we pray because we need. We pray because we we are, we need solution. We need we need salvation. We need uh, answer. That's why we need to pray to pray for those things. And and prayer needs faith. Prayer needs faith. Well, most of the people pray and don't believe in them, what they pray. That's why they pray, Lord, can you give our salary tomorrow? It's already 29. <laughs> <laughs> I need my salary tomorrow. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> then you think about it. Oh, it's not possible. The, the treasure is not here. <laughs> so how can God answer your prayer? You, you yourself, <laughs> you yourself didn't believe in your prayer. Right. How can you expect God to answer your prayer? That's why you need to pray and believe. Amen. Pray and believe. So that your faith will be stabilized. Amen. Amen. We need a stabilized faith. We need it. As long as we are here on earth, as long as we are living, we need a stabilized faith. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, Father in heaven, we thank you for the blessings. We pray, Lord, that you continue to bless the life of you. Continue to empower us with your words.